What is going on guys? It's Gold Zuko and welcome back to episode 19 of my Hunger Games series for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Today's video we have a pretty interesting thing to talk about and actually as you can see I did disable my VIP Plus. There's a very good reason for that. It pertains to uh, the question that we are going to answer in today's episode which is a very controversial question and that question is is VIP Plus overpowered on LBSG or not? And uh, for those of you who don't know what VIP Plus is, it's actually a uh, premium package that you can purchase. And basically how it goes is you pay $10, and at the start of every Hunger Games match, you get full chainmail armor, like that gentleman to my right. And you also get a diamond axe. So basically you're paying $10 to start off every Hunger Games match with a set of armor and, uh, you know, a weapon. So <laughs> that's basically how it works. And I actually came across this topic by uh, looking on Twitter because I was at school, so naturally... When you're at school, you're pretty bored and you're browsing through your phone. And I saw another Minecraft PE YouTuber, someone I follow on Twitter. He uh, tweeted that, you know, VIP Plus is overpowered. And I was like, hmm, that sounds like a pretty interesting topic to discuss. Why not talk about it on my next Hunger Games episode, which is what we're doing right now. So um, that is the question we're going to be answering. Is VIP Plus on LBSG overpowered or not? And from my own personal opinion, you know, perspective since I've played on both using VIP Plus and both not using VIP Plus, as I am doing right now, I'm not using anything. Um, I can honestly say that I don't think VIP Plus is overpowered. Well, you know, I don't think it's overpowered whatsoever. And I'll explain to you guys that reason in this video. And uh, the first reason why I don't think VIP Plus is unfair or, you know, overpowered is because you get what you pay for. And this pretty much is pretty is like self-explanatory. Like you get what you pay for. Um, people pay ten dollars, five dollars to get a VIP package, just because they want a little advantage over you know other players. And that's exactly what they got. They paid for it. You know, if you paid for you know like a ten dollar suit of armor that you want to wear, then by all means you should be able to wear it because that's what you paid for. But that would not be an unfair advantage, you guys. It's just a regular advantage. It would be an advantage. I'm just saying that it's not unfair because if you paid for it, how can it be unfair? That's your own money, right? So um, there's a different story though because I know that there's people who have been able to hack VIP Plus like that uh, guy over there with the uh, chainmail armor. People have been known to uh, be able to hack that and get around it without actually paying. That is what you would call overpowered and an unfair advantage. Even though it's the same armor, there's a reason because... One, they didn't pay for the right to use that set of armor, and that is not fair because there are some people who don't pay and they play legit, you know, they play just like I'm playing right now. They're not using any armor, they're just getting everything they loot from chests, and that is uh, basically what I mean, you know, if you paid for something, you should have a right to use it. It doesn't mean you're a noob, it doesn't mean that, you know, you suck at Hunger Games, it just means you paid for it and you want to use it, so... Um, but, you know, like I said, it's a different story if you, uh, you didn't pay for it because that's just basically stealing. Like, you're getting the perks of someone who paid for something without actually having to pay for it. That would be, you know, OP and an unfair advantage. Um, me, personally, the reason why I decided to get VIP Plus isn't because, I, you know, I had a hard trouble winning Hunger Games matches because I didn't. You know, I've always been pretty good at Hunger Games. And the main reason why I decided to get it is because, one, I like how, uh, the uh, the chainmail armor looks it looks cool because you can still see through your uh, to your character's clothing. I like the fact that it comes with a diamond axe because the diamond weapons look really cool in my opinion. Not just because they're really you know B A, um, but they look really cool too. And also I liked how you had a uh, like a little VIP plus in uh, brackets next to your name. I thought that was really cool. In my case, I also have like the little uh, YouTube thing next to my name, which is pretty sweet in my opinion. And um, last but not least, the reason why I got VIP Plus is because I wanted to do like a little, like do my own little part to help the LBSG staff out because any VIP Plus or VIP package that they sell, I'm sure that that money goes back into uh, making the servers better for us and making it a better you know, server experience in general. So uh, that was basically my way of helping them out a little bit. So those are the reasons why I, <laughs> you know. I got VIP Plus, not because I needed it, because I didn't, but it's just because, you know, I thought it'd be a cool way to help out the staff, because, you know, they work pretty hard to set up these really cool servers for us, and I'm sure a lot of us take it for granted, we're just constantly complaining about hackers, 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 which, you know, I think a lot of the flying hackers actually are are gone now, so that that's pretty sweet, um, because the flying hackers were really the only hackers who could kill me, like, the sprint mod people would kill me occasionally, 
but the majority of the time it was just those flying hackers they could do this weird thing where it was like they turned you into a human minecart they would just ride on top of your head and keep hitting you and you couldn't even hit them back so it was pretty annoying but you know like i said lbsg did manage to update it and they got rid of it for now anyway so um props to them that was pretty sweet and now we're going to continue talking about why vip plus is an op and i'm actually going to be using the, this match is a prime example as you can see I did not start off the match with any type of a any type of what's it called Advantage like I just started off as a normal player I went from chest to chest and I'm doing a pretty good job right now I already killed one guy I got a lot of nice loot here and Yeah, you know the thing is um, a lot of people tend to think that just because someone's VIP plus they're automatically gonna win the match And they're not because you know just because you have a better set of armor or you start off with a better set of armor and gear than everyone else doesn't mean you know how to use it, you know um, I've seen so many VIP plus people get murked just by regular players. It's, it's hilarious to be honest And um, you know just because you're VIP plus doesn't mean you're invincible You know regular players can still kill you. It's just you know a little bit more difficult at the, the start of the match But after the start of the match after everyone's been looting chests and whatnot, you know it, You're pretty much on equal footing. So that's why I don't think that VIP plus is OP and also because you know winning LBSG matches isn't very hard to be honest like um, I play using without using VIP plus all the time and it's it's not a tough thing to do the main thing about uh, LBSG is not you know who has the best weapon or who has the best armor it's pretty much just strategy and knowing where all the hidden chests are if you know where all the hidden chests are it doesn't matter if you get stuff at the spawn it doesn't matter if you start off with full iron armor or whatever it just uh, you know you just got to know where all the chests are you got to know the locations you got to know which battles to fight which battles not to fight like if you barely started you know looting chests you barely got like a freaking like a wooden sword and you're walking around like humpty dumpty <laughs> and uh, you see a guy with full like full iron on and he's got a diamond axe chances are you're not gonna win that battle you know even if you're the best player on uh lbsg you just gotta you gotta know when to pick your battles guys um and as you can see i am suffering from this weird a crafting table glitch i've crafted the same iron sword like three times before it stayed so that is pretty freaking annoying but anyways um the next thing that i want to tell you guys is uh yeah you don't gotta think that vip plus is overpowered because it's not it's really not it's so simple to kill people with vip plus because a lot of the time people who uh have vip plus or they have vip they tend to um rely on it a lot so they aren't as good of a player as they could have been if they you know say they started off with nothing like i'm starting off with nothing on this match um like this guy over here he's probably a vip because he's got that axe and i'm still gonna go over there and handle business um see i, I straight up rushed this guy and uh, if you guys really want to know what is op as you can see that guy somehow he's magically hitting me and he's facing the opposite direction that seems weird right um, that is what you call playing in a third person view. It's like a really overpowered like noob thing to do in LBSG and that's pretty much the only like the only people who are able to kill me legitly technically are the people who use third person which is probably the scrubbiest thing you can do in LBSG if you're playing legit. You know if you're not using mods or anything you're not using sprint mods and not using fly mods and you're using third person that is the scrubbiest thing that you can do because one, it just makes it ridiculously unfair because, like, as you saw right now, that guy was somehow hitting me from behind. Um, he wasn't even looking at me. It looked like he was looking at the freaking, the spawn. <laughs> and somehow he's able to keep axing me repeatedly. So it is, it's ridiculously OP, guys. Don't, don't even use third person because, for one, it makes you a noob. That is what I consider, like, a, a major LBSG noob if you're using... Um, third person I know this one guy he would uh he I was always wondering why he would kill me right because I thought he was hacking or something because he would kill me like once or twice and I was like what the, whoa how's this guy killing me like I'm it's rare that someone ever uh you know out out fights me but um you know I thought I was like it was weird because somehow he had like you know he didn't really have that great gear but he was killing me you know with a diamond axe you know his startup gear and I was like that's so weird and uh, I found out that he uses third person and that's, I was like, okay, there, that, there it is. That explains it. Third person is what, you know, it's like a noob's go-to. <laughs> um, you don't want to use it because uh, I think that the owner, his name was William uh, Teeter. I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but he was planning on taking off the uh, third person option anyway. So if you're one of the people who relies on using third person, which is OP, 
um, then you better start practicing using first person because it's probably going to get removed in the near future. And if you've been using it your, your entire LBSG little uh, you know career, whatever you want to call it, and that's the only thing you know how to do when you, it's taken away from you, chances are you're going to be getting murked by people with carrots or whatever. So. Um, yeah, do not use third person because it's it's really newbie guys. The only time I've ever used third person is uh, like when I'm I think it was on this very map too. Like there's a there's like a house I think we were in it. We we're using the crafting table and there was like a chest on the roof and before I couldn't get it, I thought you had to like like climb on the roof to get it and I didn't want to you know do all that so I just I went to third person and I clicked the chest. So that's the only uh, ever real reason why I use third person. It's together chests. And that is super OP. And as you can see, I totally knocked this girl. I, I'm not even sure if she died. I think she did. Yeah, it says Ash Leg fell from high place. And that guy totally just got knocked over by me. I didn't mean to. I went after him. I jumped in the water. I didn't die from fall damage like I normally do, which is pretty sweet. And I won the match. So as you can see, even with VIP plus players there, um, I managed to win the match. It didn't even really, that wasn't too bad of a match at all. Um, I did have to do a lot more, you know, supply gathering than I normally would like to, but I still managed to win. So that just goes to show you guys that even if you don't start off with anything good, even if you don't have VIP plus any of the, uh, you know, the, the nice startup perks, but you know, you can still win. It doesn't really matter who you're playing against. You just got to know the maps you got to, um, and play smart. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.